good morning. It is uh, 64 degrees outside and it is so nice outside. Overcast, sun's not beating down. It's great. It'd be a perfect day to be off work and at home with the family. That's not gonna happen. I'm not off today. I am most definitely working. But I guess that's the, the nature of the beast, ain't it? Kinda hard to make money if you don't ever go to work. So I just thought I would make a quick little video while I'm sitting here just driving to town. Uh, <clears throat> kind of excited about something. I, uh, I had ordered a uh, action camera. I wanted, uh, wanted something that was waterproof that I could put on the outside of the vehicle while I'm uh, off-roading or whatever. And, and uh, so I've been wanting one for a while. And uh, I ordered one. I, I, I saw this uh, product comparison on a local news channel. And uh, they were comparing a GoPro Hero 5 with uh, a, a little small action camera called an Actavon. Uh, difference in them was uh, the GoPro was like $400 and the uh, Actavon was $39.99. And they were very similar in the way they performed for the, uh, for the comparison that they did. And I uh, figured, well, that's a... That's a good place to start for me. I'm, I just do this sort of thing just for fun anyway. Uh, if it turns out to be a great camera, then it's a great camera and I got one real cheap. If it kind of turns out to be something that's not so good, I only spent 40 bucks on it. Well, look what came in. Here it is, it's the Activon CX action camera. And uh, I have taken it out of the box and I have charged it and I have put a, uh, mini SD card in it and it is road ready to go but I have not done anything else with it yet I haven't taken my first picture with it I haven't taken my first action video with it so none of that has been done yet so I'm chomping at the bit ready to play with it ready to uh, get it going and uh, see how it's gonna do pull it out here and show you this, uh, there's a lot of traffic going on here. Anyway, uh, this is the camera. It is a very similar camera to the GoPro. Uh, nice and small. Uh, it comes with a, uh, a mount that's got a, a sticky back on it to where you can stick it on onto something. And then it clips right on and off. But it also, underneath here, it has uh, the exact same type mounting device as a GoPro. So any GoPro device, uh, you know, like selfie stick, tripod, uh, the uh, clips that you can clip onto things, uh, any, anything that you've got that works on a GoPro camera that you uh, can set your GoPro up with, you can set this up on with. So if I decide someday that I want to go with a GoPro camera, then I don't have to get rid of any of my tripods. I don't have to change anything out. Everything will still work just like it did before. I think this kind of, this mount is getting to where it's kind of a universal type thing now. There's a lot of, a lot of cameras that come with it now. And uh, I had looked at the uh, Polaroid Cube because I wanted one of the little tiny cube cameras that I could you know, put in the windshield, put on a roll bar, uh, something like that. And, uh, but the, the problem that I had with the Polaroid Cube, it's got a magnet and you can stick it to something that's metal. But, you know, my dash is plastic, so that wouldn't work. Couldn't stick it to the dash. Uh, you know, certain types of metal, if it's not the right type of metal, it's not gonna stick. So if I've got a piece of galvanized metal that I wanna put the camera on so that I can, you know, video coming by in the Jeep or something of that nature, I can't do it because it won't stick to galvanize. <laughs> and uh, now granted they do have some, you know, the GoPro uh, cubes now, some of the lower end models, some of the older models that you can get for about $150, and which is, uh, that's not bad. I would do that. I will do that. I'm going to have one of those. I uh, just decided whenever I found this one that I was going to go with this one first. I've been using my wife's 
uh, Canon Power Shot. Um, I think it's a ELPH 150IS, ELF 150IS. That's uh, I just always call it the ELF, so I forget what the number is on it. But uh, <laughs> anyway, I've been using it for a while, and it, it does a great job. I, I like it. It's it's a fine camera. It doesn't, it, but it, it's not one that I would put on the outside of my Jeep while I'm bouncing through the brush. I just. It, the fact, just the fact that it's my wife's camera, I know better than to do that because you don't mess with the wife's stuff. And, and any chance that it, you might have of breaking the wife's stuff, that's not a good thing. That's not a good chance to take. It's not worth it. So I, I, I kind of enjoy sleeping indoors. So I, I don't want to. You don't want to make the wife mad. So that, that's not a. That's not an option. But anyway, so I. I will have one of those little GoPro cubes. Like I said, I was gonna, I looked at the Polaroid cube. The sound quality on the Polaroid cube is pretty terrible. It's like very muffled and doesn't sound good at all. It sounds like basically like one of these when when it's inside the case. It sounds, you know, when you've got it inside the case, it kind of muffles the sound and, and uh, well, the, the Polaroid cube does it all the time. Uh, the good thing about the, uh, um, GoPro Cube is they have a much better sound quality. Now granted, using the Cube, I don't really intend on using it for necessarily for the sound. Uh, a lot of those videos that I will shoot for with that camera will be just action videos, you know, as we're rolling down the trail or climbing an obstacle or whatever it is we're doing or I may set it out on the trail as I'm driving past it or something of that nature so I'm not overly concerned about the uh, sound quality on it but I do like the fact that the GoPro has the GoPro style mounting device and I can put it on a on a tripod or on a some sort of mount to where I can stabilize it and you know I don't I've just, I've seen the videos of the Polaroid Cube where people will stick it to the top of the car and they'll drive, and that's fine, but I'm just not that brave. I don't, I, you know, I feel like a magnet, it, it's too easy for a magnet to just kind of come loose in a high wind or something like that, so I don't know. I, it probably wouldn't. They probably got the magnet figured out to where it's strong enough, it's going to hold, but I wouldn't want to take that chance, even with a cheap camera like the Polaroid Cube. So even even though it's forty bucks, it's still forty dollars. You, know, you don't want to just throw it away just because. So but anyway, uh, I have some plans on shooting some video with uh, with the new camera, the Activon CX. I'm going to shoot some videos with it, see how it does. Uh, I'll put the videos up. I may even do. A, I guess it won't really be an unboxing because I have already unboxed it and charged the camera and all that. But I may, I may do a little short video showing the camera and uh, showing the, some of the features on it. I'm not overly sure about all of the features on it. I've read on it, but I haven't, like I said, I haven't played with it yet. I, I just got it in and I've had enough time to take it out of the box and take a look at everything and get it charged up. And that's about it. I haven't taken, I haven't even taken my first still shot with it yet. So I'm excited to use it but haven't gotten a chance to yet. Uh, as soon as I do, I will get some video up and we will uh, we'll talk again later. Have a good day.